These are your top five modern blues artists. Number five, Joe Bonamassa. Primarily a cover artist, Joe Bonamassa is still pretty successful and has a wide volume. His music's pretty cookie cutter as far as blues goes, but it's still pretty good. I'd recommend checking him out. Number four, Martin Harley. A lesser known blues artist, primarily does acoustic and lap steel from the UK, has not a small following but he still creates great music and uh, I'd recommend checking him out as well. Number three, Owen Campbell. Uh, he started with a rocky start as a busker and uh, also tried his luck on Australia's Got Talent to lose uh, both times that he attempted. Past that, he's still creating great music and um, has a larger following than uh, you'd expect from such a small artist. Number two, Kevin Mo. Am I wrong? Falling in love with you. Tell me, am I wrong? Well, falling in love with you. Uh, the oldest musician on this list, Kev Mo, keeps his roots um, and blues roots pretty close to heart. Um, he does a lot of blues Americana, and uh, his most recent album, Blues Americana, is a great example of how he blends folk and blues to create a very interesting and unique sound. Tell me, tell me, am I wrong? Holding on to you so tight. If your other man come to claim you, he better be ready, ready for a long, hard fight. Number one, Gary Clark Jr. The youngest and most successful blues artist, uh, Gary Clark Jr. has a large amount of fans and is producing his own sort of unique style of Chicago and modern electric blues. And it's a very captivating sound and uh, it's created a large following and I'd recommend checking that as well. Those are your top five blues artists. Thanks for watching.